These three habits have cured my procrastination and the best part is they only take one minute to implement. Want to know them? Let's get straight into it. Life is full of boring tasks that we don't want to do but have to be completed regardless of what we think. Whether it be house chores, cleaning up, organization, we just have to do it. Now, I would credit music to curing my procrastination for a lot of non-work related tasks. Let's just say that the dishwasher needs to be emptied and instead of me procrastinating for hours and hours and being like, oh, I'll do it late, I'll do it tonight or tomorrow, I'll just put on a song and get it done within five minutes. Like if I need to clean my bedroom, I'll just put on one four or five minute song and just get straight into it. Playing music works so well for me and hopefully for you too because one, music improves my mood. Second, it acts like a timer to race against the completion of the song. I've always loved racing against a clock and music is like a form of that. And finally, I associate these boring or crap tasks with being a bit more fun when I'm playing music. I think this will do work so well because in a lot of instances, I look at the length of a song, like let's just say it's four minutes and 30 seconds. And in a lot of instances, I know that in four minutes and 30 seconds, this chore will be done and then I can move on with my day. So it's like, it kind of goes, okay, well, if by the end of this song, I'm completed with this chore, then why not just do it right now and get it over with? Created by Catherine Milkman, temptation bundling is when you bundle something that you enjoy with something that you dread. It's mainly about combining tasks that give you instant gratification with tasks that give you delayed gratification. So let's say that you love watching the TV show Breaking Bad. Well, this is something that you enjoy. Now I'd pair watching Breaking Bad with some form of a chore, like maybe folding up clothes or ironing. And this might be something that you dread doing. So now every single time you sit down and watch Breaking Bad, you can pair that with some form of a chore that you need to get done. And it doesn't even need to run the full length of like the TV show. It just needs to be something that you need to complete or like you're procrastinating. This eliminates procrastination because you're likely going to watch TV every single night because it's something you enjoy. So you may as well bundle it with something you also dread. It kills two birds with one stone and starts reinforcing this positive idea around chores. To make your own temptation bundle, simply write a two column list of things you enjoy and things you often procrastinate on. So I enjoy listening to music, but I might only listen to music on some days when I'm doing something productive like simultaneously. This literally forces me to stop procrastinating because it's like, well, if you want to do something you enjoy, which is like listening to music, well, then you need to pair that with something a bit more productive. This might be exercising, cleaning my room, doing chores and more. This sounds quite obvious, but I guarantee that it works. Commit to spending between one to five minutes on whatever task you're procrastinating. After the time is up, you're allowed to stop if you want to. In many circumstances, the hurdle of procrastination is often just starting the task. So if you're committing one to five minutes to starting it, you might just realize, oh, well, this actually isn't too bad and you continue working on it and even potentially finishing it. This is basically just a five minute rule, but just with a bit more flexibility in choosing the amount of time to like start the task. Now, why does this work? Because many times when I'm putting off a chore or a task I need to get done, my brain just doesn't want to because I can't be bothered or it's just not fun. However, when I have an incentive of knowing that I can quit after only five minutes of work, I'm able to start the task a lot easier because of that incentive. Our brain needs this incentive of an out or a reason to do the task. But once we've started it, there feels like no reason to actually stop. And it's like, oh, well, I may as well finish the task now that I've started it. I could spend one minute hanging washing out on the line. And then at the end of the minute, I'm like, well, why would I quit? I've only got two or three more minutes of hanging until I finish it. Or if I spend five minutes writing a script, I might get really passionate about the topic and finish the script within an hour. But the main hurdle to me was just simply starting it. The one to five minute rule is basically just trying to get you over that hurdle of procrastinating with an out, like a reason for you to stop. And it's like, it's okay. Like if you start a task and you're like, I really don't want to do this. Like, and you spend five minutes and the five minutes is up. These three one minute habits have really changed my procrastination for the better. I use them daily and I really hope that they work for you too.